Good afternoon, everyone. Today's video is going to be a bit different. For those of you that are familiar with Al Brooks, you should have a better idea of what today's video is trying to achieve, but it's a price action walkthrough on the charts of the S&P 500. I'm using a five minute chart, and this is for today's price activity, March 14th, 2022, in case you're watching it in the future. Now, the way I've laid out this entire presentation is bar by bar, so you can really hit pause along the way if you're watching this at home and try and ask yourself what do you think is likely to happen next or what do you think the buyers or sellers must be trying to tell you through the chart. Now first, let's set the stage with some context. This is going to be off of a daily time frame chart and this is what Friday's activity, today's a Monday, so this is what Friday's activity looked like. Now looking at just the candle, this is where we opened. We had buyers come in trying to bring price action up higher but they failed and not only were sellers able to bring price back down to the opening price, but then we closed at our lows as well. So all around this right here is a very bearish candle. I've also drawn out this uh, horizontal line on Friday's lows so we can keep track of it in today's price activity. So when you see that horizontal light gray line, that's what that line is actually representing, Friday's low. Now let's move into today's price action and see how everything unfolded. I'll go through again bar by bar, so be sure to hit pause if you're watching along to try and get the most out of this video. Now starting off here, this was our first five minute bar for today. Looks very similar to Friday's bar as well. We had essentially price open, buyers tried to come in, failed, sellers were not only able to bring price back down to our opening price, where if it had closer, this would look more like a doji, assuming we did test below, but we also closed at our very low. So, so far that first five minute bar suggests bearish activity. And again, this is that line tracking Friday's uh, low. Now let's keep moving forward. So the next bar, we have bearish continuation. This time a little less bearish. We did close in that bottom portion of the overall candle. So the body is towards the lower side. However, it wasn't like the previous candle where we closed at the very lows, but still bearish continuation. Now next five minute bar, we have the bulls come right back in and this is after we've now tested Friday lows once and twice. We have wicks at that point. So we know buyers are coming in and buying this level. We don't know yet how strong or weak they may be. This current bar suggests they could be fairly strong buyers. Uh, we're seeing a fairly large bull bar and this bull bar in this five minute bar rather, uh, we've or the bulls have managed to accomplish what took the bears what five and ten minutes to try and do so so far bulls have a little bit more power or control here now keep moving forward to the next bar uh, a little bit of indecisiveness i would argue still a bearish bar in terms of uh closes below the open we tagged the market pulse line market pulse is still very much in a stage of deceleration we can see that with the red right here but for the most part an indecisive candle we didn't close above or below any candle we're really at this point, I think bulls and bears both are trying to figure out who's in control here. This is also now the top end of this range. So that's one other thing to keep in mind is we're now at the upper end. So if we did start to see a sell off, we'd get a little bit more trading range sort of activity. If we start to break above our opening high, essentially, that tells you that the bulls have at least some legs underneath them. Now, next five minute bar here. Okay, so another weak-ish bar we closed above where we opened but for the most part our wicks are on the upper edge of our candle so so far it's looking like uh the bears might be starting to get control here towards the top end of this trading range let's keep moving forward see what happens in the next five minute bar okay so this bar tested below our previous two candles lows uh, we can see that right here with this wick where sellers did try to take over control, buyers came right back in, tried to bring it up higher. So we have wicks forming on both sides, uh, still very much closing in the middle of our candles. Uh, so the bodies are fairly small. So still indecisiveness. We don't have a break one way or the other, but so far it's looking like the bears are able to at least hold this line right here a little bit better than I think this bull bar would have suggested. Okay. so expanding wicks here uh, but still indecisiveness let's see when this indecisiveness actually breaks through and the luxury of again doing this after the fact is not only do we know the answers but we also don't have to wait five minutes to try and go through this commentary we can make this video what would originally be what six and a half hours uh, or even longer uh, much much shorter 
Now next bar, we see now that the bulls are starting to get a little bit of control here. We close towards the upper edge of this candle. We open down low, very small wick test towards the bottom, no wick really uh, for the most part at the top. So a very bullish bar after seeing one bull bar, then 5, 10, 15, and 20 minutes of indecisiveness. Bulls come right back in. We've also closed above this trading range uh, that we were sort of building for that beginning half of uh, the hour when the markets opened. So, so far now, this is looking a little bit more bullish. We've also tagged Friday's low and bounced away from there. Let's continue to see what happens next. Bullish continuation bar. We also have a nice wick here at the top. So I'd expect that if you did buy this close, for example, you would get not only this move, the risk to reward doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I would expect to see a test of at least that previous high, if not a break above it. So far, we are seeing that the bulls are very much in control here. Now, next candle. We did not get a full test of the upper edge of the wick. Uh, you got just a little bit of uh, a test there, but so far now the bears are coming in, at least in this particular five minute candle, but it doesn't look all that strong yet from the bears, right? We're seeing just that test, but we haven't broken below the low of even that previous candle. So what the bulls were able to accomplish in this five minute candle, the bears have been unable to reverse in the next five minute bar. Keep coming forward here. Market Pulse is also looking like it's starting to turn green. Next five minute bar. All right, so we have bulls resuming that same control that we had. We now close towards the upper edge of that wick. So had you taken that scalp trade, that trade did pan itself out. We never went below the actual low. And keep in mind here, context is important. We now have the bulls in control, starting to look like somewhat of a bull channel here. Not very pretty for the most part, but bulls still looking like they have control. Unable to break above that previous high though, so that's one thing to keep in mind, is while the bulls look like they have control here, I don't necessarily think we have strong bulls. Now keep coming forward. The next bar, we did try to break above it during the actual 5 minute candle, but then sellers very quickly came back in, the bears brought price action down lower, we closed towards our low. So this I would argue is our first bear bar in this 5 uh 10 and 15 minute bull candle range or actually 20 if you count this one as well this is that first time where it looks like bears really came back in and resisted this upper edge that the bulls are trying to break above so again not strong bulls bears not strong bears either if we see continuation that would then start to indicate that bears have a little bit more control now and that balance is shifting let's see what happens in the next five minute candle all right so now bears tried to bring price action down lower uh, bulls came right back in, bought this level up. So, so far, uh, it's looking like we're again back to a little bit of indecisiveness and we now have a new trading range here between these 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25 minute bars. We're now also at 7.30. This is when we send out that volatility note. So at this point, we also have our volatility regime within us. We'll skip that for this particular video, but that's just marking that we're now at the 7.30 mark. Now let's continue to see what happens in that next candle. Okay, so bulls tried here. Uh, again, very similar to this sort of a candle where we have this upper wick. So if you did buy this close, I would expect us to see a test above. This is, I think, almost a one-to-one. -one. It looks a little bit better compared to this candle in terms of our risk to reward. Your stop would have to be below this candle, buying the close, looking for a push up higher. And this would really be a test of do bulls have control here? Can we at least tag the upper edge of this wick? And then if we see a strong bull candle breaking above even this high and closing above it, then that tells us that bulls have resumed control. And this was really just a minor two uh, candle pullback in an overall now bull uptrend. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we did have bulls open. We did have that scalp uh, hit the target so the scalp actually gave you the move out however with the candle closing here we closed again another bearish candle towards the bottom end of this overall candles range so very much a uh, bearish candle here and it's looking like we're starting to see a bit of a resistance up here near that 4230 mark so let's continue to see what happens but so far we don't really have that strong bull nature that would suggest that this is a bull trending day we also don't have full bear bars yet suggesting that this is a bearish market either so far we just have a whole lot of indecisiveness with opportunities to scalp like this one right here uh, play that trend but nothing beyond that 
Okay, next candle. Again, we're starting to get similar to what we saw down here. We're having wicks, but this time most of the wicks are all on the upper edge. So suggesting again that every time the bulls try to bring price action up higher, that 42.30 level is getting rejected and bears are bringing price down lower. This particular candle was a bullish candle, uh, but starting to look like we may have a bit of resistance there. Next candle, we now break above it, so bulls have resumed control. Very similar setup to that previous one where if you did buy that close, you did get the scalp. This time we closed above even that previous trading range. And it's looking like this is very much a bullish market here, a bull control. Uh, we would have bulls assuming to resume power here and we'd want to see continuation in that next candle as well. So again, buying the close here uh, should essentially suggest that we see more bullish upside. Now keep moving forward. We again see another bullish candle. This time we close towards the upper edge of that candle. So another bull candle, that scalp also did end up working. We have wicks right down here suggesting that sellers tried, but buyers bought this level up higher. We've also now broken above that 4230 mark, but we're not seeing as much continuation as I think we may have expected after seeing this strong bull breakout right here, this five minute bar. The next five minute bar is much, much smaller. We were able to essentially just close slightly above uh, that previous candle's high. So nothing astounding, but still a bull candle, nothing to suggest bearish activity here. Next bar, we're starting to see bears come in, wick still at the bottoms. So every time bears try to bring price action down lower, we're starting to see bulls come right back in and defend that level. So, so far looking a little bit uh, more indecisive again, but still skewed towards the bullish side. Now next five minute candle. All right, so now we're starting to see a bit more bearish activity. We don't know yet if this is just a pullback and an overall uptrend, but we are starting to see a close below that low where the bears previously had been unable to close below this level. This time the bulls were not able to defend that level and we closed towards the bottom end of this particular candle. So bearish activity or at least somewhat bearish uh, in terms of a very minor five minute chart. We still don't know yet if we're going to break much below because another way to think about this is what the bulls were able to accomplish in five minutes, the bears are trying to still reverse and it's now been 10 minutes and we haven't really seen a whole lot of bearish follow through yet. Now keep coming forward here. Now we're starting to see a bit more bearish activity. Again, it took 15 minutes. What? more or less this 10 minute move up took. So more or less uh, the bulls and the bears seem like they're even. If anything, I would still argue the bulls have a little bit more control here. We're now starting to form somewhat of a double bottom, if you will, not really a double bottom, but a test at that same previous level. So if the bulls can come in and defend this level, we're now near that 4225 mark, that would suggest another leg higher, at least retesting this previous high. So let's see if bulls are able to come in at all. Okay, so they tried, failed here, small doji type candle. Let's keep moving forward. Okay, so now we see here, this is that first real sign we see that the bears are starting to get a little bit more control. We tried to open, but unable to essentially break anywhere above our opening price from the bulls. Bears had full control for this entire five minute candle. We've now reversed what this 10 minute uh, little rally essentially gave us. Now we've seen bearish activity for 5, 10, 15, and 20 minutes with the bulls trying for this one five minute candle, but not really succeeding for the most part. Another way to also look at this is we're now pulling back to the market pulse. We have a bull flag forming, also a bearish channel, and we're looking to try and see if this is just a pullback and an overall uptrend. Essentially, to prove that, we would need to see the bulls again come right back in and defend this level, or do we see bears continue to break below even this low, suggesting we're very much in a bearish downtrend. This wasn't a pullback or anything of that sort, but the bears now have control and the bulls have given it over. Again, keep in mind our context headed into today, which was we had a bearish daily candle, so we would expect to see at least if we did see more downside, a retest of that same Friday low uh, price level, which is drawn out right here. So let's see what happens next. Okay, so now we're starting to see bears have a little bit more control. Bulls tried here with a small wick, uh, nothing that they were actually able to defend. So, so far still looking like we're in this bearish downtrend. We were unable to break outside of that channel as well. See that each time we're making lower lows on each of these candles. So bulls aren't really able, or lower high, excuse me. So bulls aren't really able to drive price action up higher in the slightest so far. 
Okay, so this would be that first sign that suggests that, hey, bulls may be starting to try and come in here, a doji type candle. If we can see price break above this high and close above it, then that to me would suggest that we now have our next leg up higher, even if it is a smaller leg here, so a lower high, but still a leg higher. So let's see what happens. Okay, so that leg higher failed. And this candle right here, I think, is that sign where it would be time to switch our bias, where we no longer have that bullish bias, but now bears have full control here. We've seen that for 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 minutes, with bulls trying only for 5 and 10 minutes in this uh, bearish uh, decline, unable to really do a whole lot. We keep making lower lows here, so this would really be that inverse setup, similar to the one we saw here, where you'd be looking to get short and this would be a small scalp. So the risk and reward on this particular candle doesn't make a whole lot of sense having to put your stop outside, but that is your one potential play here for a scalp. Now keep moving forward. All right, so now we're starting to see much more bearish activity here. That retest of uh, Friday's low seems much more likely at this level than it did up here. Of course it does. We have another setup similar, scalp down, looking for a retest of at least uh, the lows of this particular candle. Stop would be again outside. And for 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and now 45 minutes, we haven't really seen bulls come right back in. Now one other thing, if we look to the left, we're now retesting previous places where bulls have come in. So we have wicks here. We can see if this is that level where bulls are willing to buy. I would be looking for at least somewhat of a small pullback if we could get that in order to have a more comfortable short. This seems more like a breakout short where you might have a stop below uh, this particular candle, a sell stop order, looking to uh, short if we continue breaking below that. Keep coming forward. All right, so now very bearish candle. We're not seeing bulls come back in. They seem non-existent. We have just Friday's low, a very bearish candle here. Really no part of any bullish activity in this candle. So our bias at this moment reversed from bullish, which we had initially at the beginning, where we had a slight idea that this might not be strong bulls, but that is very much been proven now with the stronger bears that we have, where it took in the morning 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, and 80 minutes, that move was reversed by the bears in 5, 10, 15, uh, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and then uh, an extra 10 minutes here, so 50 minutes uh, to reverse that entire rally. So we're seeing bears have a little bit more control here. Keep coming forward. Okay, so this is that first sign that we may start to see some bulls come in. This would also give us that real true double bottom if we were able to tag below here. This is still somewhat of a double bottom, but a higher low if we did close above this particular candle, where some might argue, again, looking back, that this could be uh, your higher low in an uptrend. So two different perspectives there, but still very much bearish activity headed in here. We would need to see bulls come in and take price action above this wick and close above that wick for the idea of this being a higher low to actually pan out. Okay, so we're starting to see at least this level's a little bit defended here. We don't have that same bearish continuation. So five and 10 uh, minutes so far where we have potential bulls coming in, but we still haven't been able to even break above this wick, much less close above it. Next five minute bar. Okay, bears resume control here. This is really just another bearish candle. So uh, looking to see if this is a retest where you have buyers come into this level at this moment, but for the most part that bearish activity resumes. And if you're already short, we're looking here, uh, you could continue to keep moving your stop down lower. Your stop may now be above this level or this candle. And that's how you might be using this overall failed bull breakout. Keep coming forward. Okay, so we've now crossed below Friday's low. We still have that wick, so we're looking to see if buyers come in here, but buyers don't really seem to be existent in this overall rally at all. We have very strong bearish candles, and if anything, the move is to get short here, not try and pick a bottom. Okay, so we've broken past below our opening uh, ranges uh, low right here with this potential candle. We still have bearish activity. We close towards the bottom end of this candle, but we have wicks on both sides here, suggesting that, again, you may start to see some bulls come in, but like we've seen so far, every time we've had a little bit of hope that bulls may come in here, we haven't really seen any of that activity pan out. Let's see what happens in the next five minute bar. 
Okay, so we're starting to see some bulls buy this level now uh, for what would be a double bottom. We've closed above this particular candle. We closed towards the highs of this candle as well, suggesting we would want to see the bulls now continue uh, and bring price action up a little bit higher. This is still just a pullback opportunity and now a downtrend. So I wouldn't be looking for a whole lot on this particular candle, but this is that first time where we had bulls come in and there is some noteworthy level around this area, which is Friday's low. So let's continue to see what happens in that next five minute bar. Okay, so you would expect to see a little bit more continuation here. This five minute bar didn't really suggest a whole lot of continuation seeing what happened with the bulls right here. So this to me doesn't really bode any more confidence looking for a leg up higher. No real scalp opportunities on the upside. Still very much now in a bearish focused mode looking to try and see if we can get that decline using solely price action here. No other indicators. Okay, next candle, we're starting to get somewhat of uh, higher lows here. We have a small bear, uh, bull channel, excuse me, forming, but still bulls unable to break above this candle, close above it. So it uh, doesn't really, again, hold to the idea that we would see strong bulls coming in, at least at this area just yet. It doesn't look like this candle, as an example, this bull candle, where we had some fairly strong buying activity. Now let's see what happens in the next candle. Okay, so strong wicks. The bulls tried to break above that previous wick, failed. Uh, bears still continue to resume control. So at this point, I think it's safe to say that this would be your potential pullback. If we close below this candle, then that would be the sign to get short. Bulls really don't have any strength at this current moment, or at least from what it looks like in terms of price action. Okay, next candle here. Really an indecisive candle, a doji candle. We're chopping around at Friday's low. I think trying to still make up our mind. Are bears going to resume? Are bulls going to resume? We have no clarity on that just yet. Next candle. Okay, same idea, still chop. Keep in mind we're also, this is in that lunchtime hour for the East Coast, so uh, still just chopping around sideways. No clarity whatsoever, but we're now starting to enter the tail end of that lunchtime hour where you would have folks coming back from lunch, getting back to their monitors. So let's see if as we approach that 10 o'clock or maybe even after that 10 o'clock uh, Pacific hour, if we can start to see slightly better uh, resumation of any trend, bull or bear. Next candle. Okay, so this time a close below all of these previous wicks. To me, this is our bearish setup right here, uh, looking for continuation down lower. At this point, if you did take this short, your stop would be above this previous pivot point since we now have a reversal zone. If you're taking this, it's just a scalp looking for similar to what we were for the, the bull candles right here. So something similar to this, where we open, we don't really see any, in this case, buyers come in. Full bearish activity here. We tried to test down here, low below. We did test it, but buyers came right back in. We'd be expecting those weak bulls to essentially fall out and give us at least, if you uh, took the close here as your potential short, to give us at least a move down to this previous wick, if not breaking below it. So that's the overall idea with that scalp right there. Let's see what happens next. But so far, this would be that first bearish setup. We had a small little pullback. That pullback failed. We've broken below Friday's low. Now looking to see more bearish activity. Okay, so this time we had bear follow through. Again, a very bearish candle. By, uh, bulls unable to really take us anywhere below the lows where we tested, so we closed at the lows. Continuation of this bearish trend. Let's see what happens next. Okay, so still bearish candle. Bulls tried here. Sellers uh, failed. Continuing the same bearish trend down lower. We keep making now lower lows and lower highs in this same uptrend. So very similar to the activity that we saw here. So far, this is now looking like it's going to be a bearish trending day, or at least we're so far trending bearishly. Now keep coming down lower. Bulls are trying here, but each time the, the bears are coming right back in and bringing price action down lower. The fact that bulls are trying may suggest to you that there's weak bulls lying around trying to continue to pick bottoms, if you will, but the bears are strong enough that they're bringing price action down lower every time uh, the bulls try to make that happen. So far here, we're starting to build a base, still a lower low. We didn't quite break above that wick, uh, and we still close towards the lows of this particular candle. All right, next five minute bar, a bull bar. Uh, we weren't able to break below this low, but we also weren't able to break above or even touch 
uh, the previous highs from the past five and ten minutes that the Bears had. So weak bulls coming in here. If this was essentially going to be a strong bull uh, rally, we would want to see bulls continue forward with this particular candle, break above these two wicks, and close above them as well. Next candle. Okay, so we're seeing somewhat of a bullish continuation right here. We didn't quite close, or I think we did close above these two wicks, but just barely. So what the bears took five and 10 minutes to essentially try and hold down, the bulls have been able to reverse in the same 10 minutes. Now, if we see follow through right here, again, another close above this particular candle, then we could at least see at the minimum, a pullback to this market pulse line. That might be a target, maybe even a retest of this Friday close. But if the bears come right back in and we see a bearish candle for our next candle, then this was a failed uh, weak bull rally. We haven't really seen any strong bulls coming in on this entire decline move down lower. And this would just be proving that same idea forward that still be looking bearish. And this is that pullback to again, try and get short similar to how we had this candle right here. Let's see what happens in the next candle. Okay, next candle, somewhat of a doji looking candle sellers tried or bears tried rather to bring price lower this time the bulls were able to come in defend this level uh, and we closed towards the upper end of this particular candle so looking like we have some hope here but again we would want to see bulls if they had full control to be able to break above these previous wicks next five minute candle okay bears have resumed control so far we close below this previous wick we close below uh, the previous five minute bull bar and we're now at this bottom area where this could again be argued as a double bottom this time a smaller double bottom looking to try and see if bulls can come in but so far this is looking much more bearish if we see a bearish candle right down here then again this is very similar to this bearish candle where we're now looking for that trend to continue on a downward decline stop this time above this previous uh, reversal point Let's see what happens in the next candle okay so this time we had bears come in uh, we tried to bring price action down lower but bulls are starting to buy this level up so we're seeing some bulls come in we had five and ten minutes of bullish activity here 15 if you count this candle as well then five minutes of bears uh, trying to bring in decline another five minute candle which did close below that previous candle so we should expect to see bearish continuation here if you took this as a scalp this time the risk to reward is skewed in your favor looking for a buy at the close right here stop outside of this particular candle for the scalp looking for a retest of that same uh, low of that wick point. If you're taking this as not so much a scalp, but looking for this bearish uh, continuation, then stop is outside of this previous candle. We also have that 1618 on the S&P right down here as another potential magnet that we may see. But so far, we have bears trying to resume control. Bulls came in to this particular five minute candle. We're able to succeed just a little bit, but not enough where we were able to close above our opening price. So again, weak bulls, but some buyers somewhere down here. Keep coming forward. Next candle. Okay, so for the scalp, the scalp did end up panning itself out. We also had, again, more buyers coming in a little bit down lower, but still very much a bearish candle. Bears still have control here. Let's see what happens next. Okay, more uh, bulls coming in. Again, this is just gradual bulls. So wick, wick, wick. Starting to buy this level up for the first time in five, 10, 15, and 20 minutes. Bulls were able to close above where we opened. Not a necessarily decisive bull bar on any scale, but if we can now close above this previous candle, I think that would help with the idea of seeing maybe this bearish decline start to lose steam and exhausting its overall move. Now keep coming forward here. Bears still have control, so bulls failed at, uh, to try and have any kind of continuation. They tried here, but you can see the bears suppressed that. We uh, closed below where we opened, suggesting again more downside decline. Okay, so this was a bit of a surprise, this particular candle. We saw bulls now starting to resume control. So if you remember, we saw bulls coming in, buying these levels, these levels, these levels, failed. Bears tried to resume control here. For the first time now, we're seeing bulls taking a little bit more strength away in this overall downward decline. The only other candle where we saw that happen was this particular candle. But let's see if we can see some sort of a follow through here. We've closed, I believe, above this candle's wick. So this would suggest this is a potential reversal pivot point. Let's see if we can get any kind of continuation here. Or do the bears have control rejecting these areas 
and they are able to bring price down lower. This is not a good scalp for anyone wondering if this candle looks similar to this candle because context again is important and in this case we're still very much in a downward decline versus in this case we had bulls in control. This time we have bears still very much in control here. Downside move. Next candle. Okay, so we're starting to get wicks here. We have again closing towards our lower end, still bearish activity. We now have what right around what two hours left for the end of the day. So uh, not a whole lot of time for follow through. Bears still look like they have a little bit of control here. Bulls tried to bring that candle up, but failed. Next candle, doji type of candle. Uh, bears tried, bulls tried, not a whole lot of clarity here. It doesn't look as, say, deep as some candles like this looked in this overall downtrend, which may suggest that we're starting to at least chop around here for a little bit, gather some time before we see a break above either the upper end of this range or a lower end of this range right down here. Next candle. Okay, so bulls trying one more time, closed above the previous candle's high, so we now have, for uh, all intents and purposes, a lower high right here forming, but still we have wicks at the top which doesn't necessarily bode confidence because we would want to see bulls be able to close towards its highs suggesting that hey the bulls are now somewhat uh, trying to take over and there's some strong bulls coming in we would need strong bulls to come in to reverse this trend and so far we don't necessarily see that next candle uh, another doji candle so indecisiveness we're not seeing the bulls come in but we're on the opposite side not also seeing bears come in and bring price action down lower next candle Okay, so now we are starting to see bears come in, price down lower, we close below that previous uh, candle's low, starting to see again a, a resuming of this bearish decline potentially. So, so far looking short, if you did take the scalp, the risk toward is not in your favor at all, but the scalp is also there for looking for a retest of that previous low. Next candle, okay, we continue to break down this time we broke below this previous range that we were forming we closed below it we've also tagged that 1618 level assuming there's some bots that have also essentially figured out that we're at that 168 or 1618 level wouldn't be surprising to see somewhat of a bullish move up higher some uh, bull declines but for that to be proven we need to see that bull candle if we see bearish continuation here again resuming this overall downward move and this time stop would be above our previous reversal point next candle okay so we just had the scalp essentially hit nothing beyond that still making lower highs at this point uh, and a lower low but just by a wick so nothing too decisive but we are starting to see bears resume control here compared to the little bit of bullishness that we saw with the five and ten minute candle right here okay now we're starting to get somewhere again one more time but it really feels like we're just trying to bottom pick with this candle this candle this candle and now this candle so far in this overall downward decline this bull candle did close above the previous candles high and we did see wick one wick two wick three and bulls closing at the top so that's a good sign let's see if we can see some follow through here though next candle we see a little bit of follow through still not a good scalp we're just right back into the upper edge of that range uh, no real trade for me at least at this point in terms of scalps uh, we're just looking to try and see what happens next and for bulls or bears to give up control one way or the other next candle bearish candle uh, again back inside of that range that we've been chopping inside of now for what 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 70 and 75 minutes so we've been inside of this range for right around 75 minutes a little bit longer if you go back a few candles as well if we do end up just chopping in between where we form that last pivot point okay still chop around sideways another bull candle but we're not seeing strong bulls come in we don't really have any kind of strong follow through this could be a lower uh, high or a lower uh, low excuse me a higher low excuse me that's what i'm trying to say here so a higher low forming if we do break above this previous reversal point that could lend to the idea that we have bulls coming in for that final hour but doesn't really look like that given that for really much of the day from 8 a.m pacific all the way now till right around 12 pacific so four hours we've had bears very much in control next candle we did close above that uh, previous high uh, we're still towards now the upper edge of this range so very much range type of activity here consolidation 
uh, looking to try and see what happens. Wouldn't be surprising to see bulls try and test this market pulse, and then if we have wick tests up here, then bears resume control into the close. Okay, so we now had a break up higher. This is the first time we've seen bulls have any kind of continuation. Still a little bit more uh, wicky than I think we would want to see, but that's on both sides. So let's see what happens next. Still not a good scalp in my opinion on the upside, given that we essentially have for the most part a bearish decline market pulse still very much red we don't have anything suggesting that the bulls have control here we just have somewhat of weak bulls coming in and we're also now getting towards that final hour of the market where you may not have enough time for follow through next candle bears came in bringing price action down lower we closed at the previous wick so nothing too crazy if you did take this scalp for example that scalp was stopped out we stopped out right down here. Again, not a good scalp in the context of things, but for those that did try and see if this was a bull continuation rally, that did not work. Bears looking like they're going to be resuming control here, but keep in mind, we're still now towards that upper edge of that uh, range bound action here. A whole lot of wicks suggesting that we don't have any kind of continuation move either side. Next candle, okay, bulls trying one more time. Let's see what happens in the next candle. They tried, they failed, bears coming in. So it's looking like we're just going to be chopping around into the close. Let's see what actually ends up happening. Again, bulls are trying. So far, we haven't really seen strong bulls coming in anywhere here. Okay, bears trying one more time. This time we're towards the upper edge of that range. We also have a smaller range this time between five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 minute candles. Okay, next candle, 1230. Bears continue to bring price down lower. We're now testing the bottom end of this range. Wouldn't be surprising to see us break below this. Bears have had control for the most part today. Let's see what happens. Bulls trying to buy this level. Uh, so really just looking like range bound action here. So buy the bottom end of the range, short the top. If you are into range bound trading, we're too close towards the end of the market here where I think this is just interesting to watch play out, but no real trades or nothing compelling enough in terms of price action to actually participate and get involved in any of this. But if you were looking to try and participate, this would be looking to buy at this close, looking to see if we can make a move up towards at least half of this range. And then again, looking for the bears to come in, make a move back down towards the bottom end of this range. Okay, bull continuation here. We did close towards the high, so that's something uh, that I think stands out, but it took five and 10 minutes for the bulls to do what took the bears just five minutes to do. So still very much strong bears hanging around here even as the day closes. Okay, bulls tried, bulls failed, bears have power here. Bear continuation, bulls tried one more time. Very much a range bound uh, market here and we're now towards the close. And let's see how the day finally shaped up. We went towards the top end of the range and again, the bears uh, ended up selling off into that final uh, 1310 candle. All right, so hopefully today's step-by-step -step walkthrough helped not only you, it definitely helped me to go through this candle by candle and play Back what actually happened with price action but taking a look at each candle and what that would suggest assuming just imagining that you were in the trading pit what would you expect bulls to be doing what would you be expect bears to be doing which side would you expect to be winning uh, and which side would you expect to be losing and are they strong bulls and bears or are they weak bulls and bears that's really the questions that you're trying to answer when we do look at price action but going back price action is really the ultimate source of truth and this chart as we walk through, you'll see uh, what different signs were. And if you go back and play this, the best way I think you can use this particular video or this price action is pausing after each candle and you yourself trying to see what do you think happens. Now, of course, we've gone through this price action. It may be very fresh in your uh, head, but for the future, you can keep revisiting something like this or better yet, take each day's price activity, turn it into your own PowerPoint slide and repeat something similar like this, where at the end of it, you've built up a nice rep repertoire of slides that you can go back to and essentially test yourself to try and see what do you think price is likely to do next and can you start to develop a good sense for what price action is likely to do. Alright, hope this video was helpful. Take care everyone, good luck trading, and we'll see you in the next update.